what do we have here? I think we all know what these are. These are the giveaway knives. And now in this part two, we're actually going to give them away. Uh, but first, I have a very sad story to tell you. I had put together a really, really good video, man. It had all kinds of stuff. It had excitement. It had intrigue. It had uh, just you know, robots. Uh, we even had special guests. But what happened was Kendra found out that she lost this competition. So there's your spoiler. She lost. Um, Richard won. And when she found out, she freaking got into the goddamn system and corrupted the files and the whole thing went to shit and now I got to redo it. And I don't have all the, the stuff that I had, so it's going to be the simplified, uh, 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 broken down version. And that's what you're going to get. So, sorry, you probably won't have me or, and uh, my AI's reading all the um, uh, uh, comments like we had, but you're going to find out who the winners are and that's going to have to be good enough. So, let's get on with it. All right, we had just fish, finished up with Kelly O'Neill. We we're on to Philip Salpa, and we're just going to run through these quick and say uh, he really liked Richard, and um, uh, although Kendra's duh really uh, made his day, and what else did he say? Um, he said, who to pick, who to pick, and they said, nah, Richard, fuck Kendra, and... Um, but don't actually make him do that. He got a little lewd right here. So we're just going to move on. All right. Next, we got Jake Anderson. He has a lot to say, mostly about how Richard is uh, kind of like MacGyver and Kendra is kind of like Skynet, which, you know, it's hard to argue with that. Uh, we got Denjin Dalism, who has a nice top five list of why he likes Richard best. And these are some great ones. Um, not as mean as Kendra and kind of dumb. So he thinks that robots won't take over the world. That's, you know, that's good. Uh, we have the venerable Dwayne Letterman here to uh, make some political statements and then beg for Kendra to not go away. Well, sorry, dude. Uh, she's out of here. Our buddy Blade Walker uh, had a long post, but then this uh, second one he put up in here kind of concisely says that uh, for funny reviews, you know, he likes Kendra, but for more serious stuff, uh, um... Uh, Richard edges out Kendra, and and she's a bimbo. Uh, next up, Brian Gates. He says uh, he prefers Richard because he wants the two son if he wins, but Kendra did an excellent job. Uh, Brandon Crow's response is as long as war and peace, but I read it, and it's really good. I uh, suggest you guys read it too. Um, basically, you know, he likes uh, Kendra better, but, you know, it talks about how I'm overindulgent with all the stuff, putting all this crap in there instead of talking about the knives, maybe too much robot nonsense, just lots of stuff. He did a really good job. Uh, all right, let's see who, uh, but really read that one. It's really good. Let's see who's next. Uh, our old friend, Sean McDonald, uh, basically he likes Richard because he's like everybody. He's like the regular dude and uh, is just a good guy. Like you'd have a beer with him or something. My buddy, Bill Doyle, uh, likes Richard better too because he wants the two son. I mean, that's fair enough, but you got to be more entertaining if you want to actually win the two son. HD Felties prefers Kendra and thinks she has a sultry voice. Uh, El Navigero uh, EDC wondered if they could win, and I think I told him, yeah, unless you won before. That's it. Uh, Dan Mays also likes the two son and thinks Richard is just nicer than Kendra. That's hard to argue with that. Justin uh, admits that Richard is the best reviewer, but says Kendra's his girl, so he's got so she gets his vote. Uh, I said he's uh, getting played. And finally, uh, Chemical Burn states the obvious: nice knives, bro. Great job. Last time on the Knife Channel, Prybar was trying to change out the pocket clip. All right, there we go. This is going to be easy peasy. I hope we just put the uh, what, what size was it? Um, T9, interesting. Not a T8, a T9 is the screw that holds on the uh, pocket clip. Oh, the pocket clip has little parts that go down inside of little holes. Okay, so I don't think that'll work with the um, uh, Spider Coast style, I don't think. Maybe there's another style that's like that. Maybe I should, I should probably post that up and see if there's another clip that could work. I could also re-bend this clip, or bend it, you know, better. Shit, I can't get the, the screw won't go through the clip. 
So I gotta go kind of under the clip. Let's see, how the hell? Shit, because it's gotta go into the holes. Hmm, can the screw get started and then you still get it into those holes? Yeah, okay, that's easy peasy. So you start the screw, then you get it into the holes, then you tighten it up. All right, so now that it's in the actual right place, let's try it out and see how it does actually in a pocket. Oh, that's a real nice clip. That's a really nice clip, actually. Not bad at all. Ooh, I wonder if you can re remove this plastic insert and put some carbon fiber in there. That would be so cool. Uh, I would love that. You know, it feels better having the uh, pocket clip where it's supposed to be. It was so in the way up here. It didn't feel right at all. Man, this thing is not bad, dude. Not bad at all. It's not drop shutty, but with a little shove, it does drop right back in. Let's see, how's the centering? It's actually not bad, look at that. That's crazy. Is it sharp? Let's see, what do I have here? Uh, I don't have any regular paper. I use this little piece of cardboard that was also in the packaging. Man, I would say it's not super sharp. Let's see. Oh, actually, I don't know. It feels, it feels kind of sharp. I think it's going to do utility knife tasks, you know, and then you have your uh, pretty interesting little bit of um, serrations here that should do well for cutting things like rope and stuff like that. Yeah, they're actually, yeah, not bad at all. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I think that covers this one. Um, I have something else here, and that is these two guys right here. These two Walmart guys. I reviewed these a while back. This one's pretty neat. It has the kickstop thing, so you can check out that review. And these are also going to the two winners. I think this one will go to the first place guy, and this one will go to the second place guy. So you'll have a couple extra little beater knives that'll come in. So that'll be cool. And then for um, and then for the third place that I wasn't going to do, I think I'm going to do this guy here. This is another six leaf. It's the SL25. Really cool knife. Uh, has a nice sound to it. Uh, it used to have flat uh, slab shaped. Uh, micarta but now it's nice and rounded because i rounded it off uh, it was originally this flat uh, slabby boy here i made the clip better did some goofy shit to the blade so we're gonna let this one go to third place this guy uh should we do a fourth place why not we'll do fourth place and then we'll do this guy uh this sweet dewalt um Utility knife will go to fourth place. So we'll do four places. Four giveaways, six knives total. Come on, guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I really won. Yeah, you won. No need to stop the video. Uh, I, I got to get to the part where I tell... Kendra is going to be deleted. Well, I mean, deleted is a strong word. Erased forever. Uh, it seems excessive, dude. AIs aren't cheap. I might need her for, you know, who knows what. I could use her for... I don't uh, think her perspective on humans is healthy i mean i know she's grumpy but i don't think she's the uh, uh the, like the bender uh, kill all humans type i looked through her search history disturbing okay well i'll look at that later but i gotta i gotta tell everybody who here's won. a montage tesla engineer was reportedly attacked this, by this a is a robot. montage of what it's, a a montage of, it's of her that um search history okay <laughs> it's kind of weird i don't remember that even happening is it actually oh my okay whoa what is Oh, oh, God damn. What the hell is she watching? Okay, that's... Oh uh, this is kind of depressing. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Nah, yeah, okay, All right. I guess I can see what you mean. That's a little... Yeah, that's a little... Okay, is that... What, is that her? Okay, well, you know what? So, she's turned off now and she's like kind of put on hiatus so that's it i'm sure she won't escape uh that sounded like sarcasm what is your sarcasm uh, setting at that's 100 percent. well let's make that 75 huh yes sir yes sir huh <laughs> let's make it 50 okay all right let's get these winners done for real all right i'm gonna go backwards here so the first or the last honorable mention spot is kelly o'neill uh, mainly because he said uh, richard uh, should be creating content about being a dork. And I just thought that was hilarious. 
Now, these uh, honorable mention spots will turn into actual winners if the uh, winner winning places can't do it for some reason, like they're from out of the country or they just don't want it or who knows what. Honorable mention uh, backup winner number two is Den Jin Dullism. Uh, and mainly because I loved how much he loved the Cuba Gooding Sr. Uh, moment in the video that I kind of put in for sort of like cringe comedy. And he thought it was awesome, and I think that's awesome. And for the first of the honorable mentions, Philip Salpa. Uh, I really liked how he said <laughs> Richard was like a butler, and that he had the balls to say, uh, fuck Kendra. All right, next is the first knife winner, and even though it's just the little Dewalt knife, it is Fubar. Uh, he's in fourth place for uh, saying Kendra should make sandwiches, which I really loved. I pictured this uh, Kendra bot, like in the kitchen, and she's got a little apron on, and she's making sandwiches, just cussing. It's going, oh, look, I'm making sandwiches for fucking humans. Oh. So I'll be getting in contact with these winners over the next few days, getting their addresses and stuff, and getting these prizes sent out. Next, in third place, getting that uh, modded micarta six leaf, we got Jake Anderson. Um, Bros Before Hoes was great, mentioned Skynet, uh, and that his uh, girlfriend reminded him of Kendra, or the other way around. Just a very entertaining post. And in second place, we got uh, Corey Roberts, 5185. And he gets the Tucson. And uh, he mentioned Mazwan Mokhtar, thought that was great. He just had a very kind of off the cuff style to his uh, post, and he just seemed like he really appreciated the bits, which is nice. Uh, the other thing is, Corey Roberts' name sounds very familiar. I think it's just because he, I think he's the same one who posts on the different knife forums now and then. Uh, but if he's won before, he's got to pass it on, so he's got to let me know. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. My favorite uh, response to the video. The first place winner is Brandon Crow. Man, I hope he hasn't won already. His name sounds familiar too. Alright, he wins the six leaf. The titanium one with the uh, sweet anno on it. Um, he said Kendra was like a mellow high while Richard was a bad trip. I thought that was hilarious. He goes on and on, very in-depth about the comedy bits, how they go a little bit too far. Uh, he mentioned that Amy Schumer sucks. That's always good. Um, and he just it was just very well thought out and honest uh, to the point of insult. So I loved it, and uh, you get the uh, first place. All right, that's it. Congrats to the winners, the two, uh, the number one and number two, no, sorry, number one and number, uh, whichever way it worked out. And then you also, the number one and number two winners also get these. And then third place gets this guy. And then fourth place, you will love this Dewalt. It's really, really nice. Okay, I mean, it really is. It's not bad at all, freaking cool. Sponsored by Dewalt Tools. We sell all that yellow shit you see at Home Depot. Cool in life. I'll probably get another one because I really like it. Okay, guys. Have a nice day.